um, and come here and I'm going to my, not the vocal, you don't touch the vocal because you've already done great work. You've removed the noise, you have compressed it, you have done your EQ, you have DS'd it, you have probably needed to uh, normalize it. You've done great work. Don't touch the vocals. You need to do all of this at the music level. So we come to the music here and we go to A3. A3 is our music, so we come to A3, not in A1, A3. Click on Dynamics. Let me then close this mixer and get this screen up here and let's get the dynamics. Uh, I'm sorry, not the dynamics. That was a big mistake. Not the dynamics. Uh, I need to get my EQ. I was talking about my big friend, my, my, uh, my best friend, and then I, I got the dynamics. Okay, my best friend, the equalizer, is this. What I need you to do is switch off everything except number four. And maybe thinking, why number four? Uh, in the beginning, in the equalizer, you said keep number two, and now you're saying keep number four because I'm kind of lazy. Because number four is very close to 1,500. I don't want to push two from here to here. <laughs> sorry, it's just, <clears throat> sorry for that. <clears throat> it's just because we're going to use the middle, okay? So we said that the vocals live mostly here, okay? Somewhere here. This is where the vocals live, here. They start about here. Okay, this is from Black Magic, like a mathematical gesture from Black Magic saying, male is 100, female is 150. Let's go with the average. Well, guess what? The average doesn't exist. You either have a male or a female, but it needs to be 100 or 150, okay? So this is the base starting frequency uh, for the voice, which basically means there's no voice here. This is most of your voice is here. You've got strong base at 500, by the way, a very strong base at 500. Well, this is a female, so I'm gonna go closer to 1,500, 2,000, somewhere here. Whether male or female, as long as you're playing between 1,000 and 2,000, you're really good to go in any project, any situation, any person, any whatever, okay? So you're going to get the one that's closer to um, this, the band number four, and what do we do? Are we going to do the same thing of getting, you should need to have this form, by the way, you need to have this form exactly, and we're going to uh, make sure we are on the 1.5 um, kilohertz. The gain, you need to reduce that. Okay, we're going to reduce it. What are we doing now? We work, we're reducing the volume of a specific frequency inside the music track. We're not reducing the volume of the music. We're targeting a specific frequency where the voice is. You know what I'm doing now? I'm creating space for vocal. This is going to be the, your music. And here comes the vocal, strong, beautiful, brilliant, loud, clear. And the mix is going to be fantastic. Now, how, how low do you want to bring this? This isn't a matter of equalizing now. We're not using the equalizer as an equalizer. Um, so we don't, as targeting frequencies for removing them. We're not gonna go down to minus 20, absolutely not. It's just a tiny little bit. And when it comes to the Q factor, which is a fancy, fair, fancy way of saying, um, is it uh, wider or, wide or narrow? So this is narrow and this is wide. It needs to be wide. So, because we, we're not going to, this isn't targeting a specific frequency. We're targeting a range of frequencies. So not too wide, because that's a bit too much. Just a little bit, like kind of like this, kind of like this. So what I have, I have here 1,500. Because it's a female, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's push it, I'm gonna just push it a little bit towards 2,000, just a tiny bit. Okay, just 50 or 100 difference, something like that, I don't know. Something like that, one point something. 1.55, okay, <clears throat> 50. That's it, this way we're mathematically accurate, 50 more. All right, now this is how much? This is minus 8.5 dB. I am reducing the volume of the music, but only for that range. Everything else is remaining the same. This way, I keep both worlds. I keep the vocals clear, loud, fantastic, and I keep the music fully there, it's just the music has been a little bit um, more tolerant and has left the voice come in only for where the voice lives. The core voice lives in around 1,500. Clear? Good. Let's move on. Now we have already applied this. Let's remove this. Click, the, click here because we've already applied it. We can see it's applied here. Okay. Let's now come and look at the difference, shall we? Okay. Mama! 
Okay, now, we may actually reduce it a bit further because I think the music has been mastered at a quite a high level compared to our vocals because our vocals, if you notice, have not been, have been actually fluctuating between minus 20 and minus 4. Now, I just wanted to demonstrate the music bit, which means that I have not worked on the vocals going through all the steps. I just took this clip from a project and I just wanted to play with it, like to demonstrate the technique, which means I didn't compress. And because I didn't compress, I have a huge dynamic range between minus four and minus 20, that's a lot. So I still have the dynamic range. Um, in normal circumstances, you would need to do that. You would, you would need to compress. So you need to go through this um, wonderful steps, uh, denoise, compress, EQ, DS, limiter, probably normalize, then you move to the music. I have skipped all of this stuff and came straight to music just to demonstrate this with the scene. So this is why I have between minus 20 and minus four. So initially it shouldn't be minus four at all because the limiter should stop it at minus six. Um, and I shouldn't have such a huge dynamic range because I should have compressed, okay? Now, uh, because I'm only working now demonstrating the step number seven, uh, I am going to reduce this further when it comes to the music just a little bit. And actually what I could do is um, yeah, just 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 till minus ten, and then move it a little towards here. Maybe make it slightly wider. Okay, that's it. Good. Okay, so now we can listen to the final result. And as promised, we're going later on to turn off the screen, no images whatsoever, and just listen to the sound. And you see that emotions live in the sound. But for now, let's look at it with the image. This was with image. Now, as promised, let's kill the images. No more images. And close your eyes and listen to this. <laughs> Okay, that was it. How to mix music with vocals in Fairlight in DaVinci Resolve 15.